Hello? Hello, hello, hello. Ooh, the lighting looks really good in here already today. Look at that. The sun is shining, chat. Welcome in, Amp. Thanks so much for being first. And yeah, we had a cookie or a Sammy cooking stream today. Hi, Palooza. How are you? Fortitude 2, just vibing, relaxing to the music. I love it. Hi, Vicariously through you. How's everyone doing? I'm just gonna turn this fan on because it's really warm out already today. It's roasty toasty in the kitchen already. Happy Friday as well, friends. I don't know if anyone... No, Palooza was with us yesterday. A couple people caught our grocery shop stream. Grocery shop trip yesterday. It was a fun one. I know that the quality wasn't the best just because of the interference in the atmosphere. It was stormy yesterday. But yeah, it was really fun. And we checked out a new butcher shop as well. Picked up all the ingredients that Sam needed to cook with today for Mary Todd. 22 Celsius in there. Yeah, edging on your comfort zone. Let's see. And yeah, my nose is still like trying to run. I don't know what the heck. I was like, I don't know if it's allergies or what. Maybe I'll take a Claritin. We got 20 Celsius. It feels way warmer than that already. I think they're lying. And yeah, crazy clouds yesterday. Crazy storm. Thompson, Canada, not found. Just put Thompson. I don't think... Don't put Canada on the end because it confuses it. 27 celsius outside yeah like she is blasting not a cloud in the sky but it is supposed to storm again later tonight there we go holy it's warm there too torino did you get any crazy storms yesterday reno they said it was maybe gonna roll all the way through to manitoba yeah running nose is never a good sign kate hopefully sammy can catch it if it runs if it really does let's hope right Okay, so I'm going to kind of take a back seat to today's stream. And Sam was going to be the one that cooks with you guys, prepares all the food. But what I do on these streams, I like to narrate. As you always know, we like to learn a little bit about what we're cooking as well. So that's what I'll be doing in the background. But Sam is definitely doing most of the cooking. And like I said, this stream is for Mary Todd 50. She saved up 100,000 of her pots and pans points. Just watching the stream doesn't cost her anything monetarily. Saves them up and it got to give me a day off of cooking today. So thanks for that, Mary. And then she linked us the recipe that she wants us to cook today. It's from the Lake Crusette cookbook, but she did take a photo of it for us. So I did just post the link from the Discord photo that she shared. Take a peek. I did not find a website browser page with the same recipe, so I didn't link that. It's cooled off a bit there today, Chase. 99F. Yeah, a bit cooler, Kate. That is still so warm. You know, it's clear as a bell there. Not so. Yeah, craziest clouds I've ever seen in my life yesterday. I am still surprised that there was not a tornado here. We are very lucky. Okay, day. So here's the menu. It's called choucroute garni. So we're cooking like traditional French food. And I will say this dish typically made like around the winter time because it's more of a braised style dish. Better for those colder nights, if you will. But hey, we will make it in the summer. Doesn't really matter. I think it's going to be absolutely delicious. So we picked up pork ribs, bacon, a couple different varieties of sausages. And then that all gets braised with sauerkraut, as well as green apple, some onion, garlic, spices, and some white wine. And then it says you have to serve it with mustard for sure. Obviously, Sam's not going to have it with mustard, but we do have a creamy Dijon as well as a grainy Dijon. So we'll have it with both of those because that's nice and traditional. And then here's the recipe. I just shortened the link from the Discord photo there. 
So this is what this says about our chakrut garni. Oh, interesting. Okay, listen to this. This is the first page that Mary linked here. Ingredient. French cooks consider mustard to be an essential ingredient and condiment. And it would be a mistake to limit your choice to only Dijon when Pommery Moutard de Mo is equally delicious and useful. We would have had to go to like Italian center, I think, to be able to find that specialty mustard. They say the grainy mustard is soft, pleasant, and relatively mild, made with vinegar, whereas Dijon mustard is made with white wine. Okay, I didn't actually know that difference, so that's interesting. Okay, so that special mustard comes in a stoneware crock with a distinctive red wax cap. It's been made using the same recipe since 1632. You've seen it? Now, uh, maybe when we go out, we'll try and find it. That's so interesting. Look, it's Samo. It's the Samo, man. Where are you going? I grabbed them all. Oh, you didn't see them beside me. Tron, how oh, are you I, doing? I did not Welcome. I literally grabbed you all your things. Where you're standing, I cannot see anything <laughs> in front of you. Welcome. Me too. <laughs> the crew Garni. You don't have your thing up, so you can see what's on. Right, right. Okay, so I'll just read through here, but I think we should also kind of learn the origin of the dish as well today. They say it's going to make six servings. Maybe we'll get a little bit more than that. Probably closer to eight, I'm going to say. Uh, this is going to be like a two times four. four. Yeah, I'm going to get like probably 12. 12 servings of shukru. Who's coming over, chat? Help. Okay, shukru is the word for sauerkraut. And this particular version is always cooked in wine. It's a classic... Alsatian stick to your ribs comfort food during the cold winter months and it shows the confluence of German and French foods in Alsace. That's like right where you were born, right? Yep. So that's actually such a perfect dish for Sam to make. The fermented cabbage is a given, but the assortment of cured meats can change based on what a cook has on hand. So yeah, we did kind of switch it up a little bit with yep. some things we picked up. We'll go over that. Alsatian cooks always ferment their own sauerkraut, but this recipe works fine with a quality store-bought product. Preferably a robust, shredded version that is sold refrigerated instead of canned. Shukrut must be served with an assortment of mustards. You're surprised you never heard of this one, Chase? Your grandma was from Alsace. Sounds yummy. It's a good one. Like I said, maybe a bit more wintry, but good meal prep one to kind of pick on throughout the week which is what we usually do okay so there is that i'm gonna go one more step further here first but sam can start actually you just no, hold on I'll for wait. one sec please just one moment please sir one moment please I'm spelling things wrong. Oh, that's why I didn't put all the words in. You can't just search Shukrut origin. It will confuse the Googler. What's everyone else getting up to today, friendos? See, we're slowly rolling in here. Seems like everyone had a really, really busy week. Okie day. So Shukru Garni. We already read that it's from Alsace. Recipe for preparing sauerkraut with sausages and other salted meats and charcuterie and sometimes potatoes. The one that we're using today, the recipe does not have potatoes. Trino has coffee. All is well. Perfect. Okay, so the background. In principle, there is no fixed recipe for this dish. Turn down the music a little bit. It's distracting me. 
Any preparation of hot sauerkraut with meat and potatoes could qualify, but in practice, there are certain traditions, favorite recipes, and stereotypical garnishes that are more easily called choucroute garni than others. Traditional recipes call for three types of sausage, more toe sausage, I don't know, it's like a smoked French sausage. So for that one, we picked up, or Samo actually chose these ones. German City Smokies. Obviously, smoky means it's been smoked. Uh, Strasbourg Sausage. And Frankfurt Sausage. Well, the Frankfurter is more like a hot dog, so that's definitely the most inexpensive one. So that's probably closer to what the smoky is. And then we picked up a traditional bratwurst. And then, yeah, Samo showed you the Black Forest bacon. And then for the ribs, we did pork side ribs, but they're cut into spare ribs, so they're cut down a little bit farther. Hi, Weasel. How are you? They say fatty, inexpensive, or salted cuts of pork also often form a part of choucroute garni, even including ham hocks, pork knuckles, shoulders, back bacon, and even slices of just salted pork. Other recipes call for pieces of fish or goose meat, but this is far less typical. I've never heard of those ones going into choucroute garni. Typically, it's just a cheap, inexpensive pork products that are quite fatty that will hold up to longer periods of cooking. The cabbage itself is usually heated with a glass of Riesling or other dry white wines or stock, as well as goose or pork fat. So maybe we'll use duck fat today. In some recipes, it will be cooked with chopped onion and sliced apples, which is very similar to the one that we're making today that Mary shared with us. Hi, Cookie. Happy Friday. How are you? How did the week go? Weasel, food, waiting for the plumber to move so I can leave early. Yes, let's go, it's Friday. Like cassoulet, pot au feu, and many other examples of France's regional cuisine, it is origin, or its origin is in a traditional inexpensive dish but made in a grand version. So this is typically served like out of the pot, family style, like place that big pot of food down in the middle of the table and everyone kind of just grabs a little bit of everything for their plate. Okay, I think we have a good understanding. So this has been made for a long time, right? And so if we go back to the recipe that we're cooking today, we need bacon, pork ribs, salt, garlic, sauerkraut, green apple, onion, cloves, bay leaves, juniper berry, allspice berry, orange zest, black pepper, two cups of dry white wine, one pound of smoked kielbasa, and then our fresh bratwurst. So this is what Samo's gonna do, guys. In a large cast iron Dutch oven over medium heat, we're gonna cook the bacon until it's browned and rendered, about eight minutes. The bacon's gonna be cut into large lardon pieces, so big chunks of it instead of small little bits. Transfer with a slotted spoon to a large bowl, reserve the drippings in the pot. We're gonna season the ribs next. Maybe cut them just to fit inside of the Dutch oven that you're cooking first as well. And then those are going to get seared on all sides. And then we're going to put those in the bowl with the bacon. After that, we add the garlic, stir in the sauerkraut and the apples, have the onion. And we're going to be doing a very French technique or process today with the onion called an onion pique or pique which will show you how to do that with the onions and the spices. Haven't done that, I think, since culinary school, honestly. Not typically done in restaurants. 
And yeah, you just uh, bring it to a low boil and then obviously reduce the heat to a simmer so everything just kind of simmers together in there. And then we add the sausages near the end just so that they don't get too overcooked and dried out. So it looks like about an hour and a half total braising time for this. And then just at the end, taste and season with salt if needed. And then you kind of just cut everything up into little pieces if you want, or you can leave it whole and let people take what they want that way too. And then we just serve it with some mustard. Hey, sounds pretty good. Samo, do you want me to make a little list for you or you're okay just reading through the recipe? He's just gonna go through the recipe chat. No list for Samo. Don't forget anything. Okie okay day. I think we're ready to go. I'm gonna take the back seat. And I think I'm gonna have a little yogurt as well before we start. And we can start. It is time. Yeah. First you do the bacon, then the ribs, then the sausages. I'm going back here. You got your water on the side. This is a black forest bacon, actually. Black forest bacon. Here, we'll switch to this now. And then... Set up the stream studio for Sam chat. What makes it Black Forest? So I was talking to my bro this morning, Cookie, because he often goes to Victoria Meats and buys some stuff. Much more familiar with it than we are. And he said, this bacon, it's for sure like double smoked. And then he said it's way saltier and like more sugary than some of the other varieties. So just a little bit more flavorful, let's say. Good amount of fat in there, so it too. Taste like speck, then? I think that's what it's going to be very close to is speck. Yep. And then how much was that chunk? Can you remember? 11 bucks. $11 for that chunk, which was how much? One pound. One pound. $11 for one pound of that. Yeah, like what you would get with Black Forest Ham. That's so true. So he's going to cut it into like one inch cubes they will render down and shrink right so cut it a little bit larger than what you want to end up with i would say well, yep i will just getting this all set up for the lighting and such i'm not super happy with it yet we need duck fat Grab the sauerkraut. We have some sauerkraut shredded in the jar and then the other head Sam actually has to shred himself. I'm so excited for this today. I've always heard of this dish, but I've never eaten it before. Even when I was in France, I think. I don't think I ever went out for it. Yeah, we have this head from when we made the sour cabbage rolls as well as this. So we'll just kind of match it to this shredded one. Doggo, back up. Back it up. Lay it down. Lay down. Yeah, she's like, don't touch me, auntie. Cookie, have you had this dish before? And I also, I don't know if I have to message Mary and be like, hello, Mary. Okay, we'll turn this light on. Okay. So now you're gonna cut up the pork ribs. Yeah, because we could always cut them into serving sizes after it's been cooked. I'm just gonna take one of these pieces out for yourself. Feel the popcorn the Oh yeah, like put it on your plate. Yeah. Nice. And while you're doing that, I'm just going to wash up the Dutch oven a little bit better. There's just a couple things that got stuck on this side. If only we had a Le Creuset Dutch oven big enough size to make the Le Creuset recipe. 
If only, chat. Grab a dump gun. And then while this is simmering today, I am going to make some pastry. Some flaky pastry crust. Because I think tomorrow I'm going to make butter tarts on stream. Pastry? No. No, I don't. Otherwise I wouldn't make it. If I had it, I would use it. Done with that. Yeah, the sausages, they, they both say that they're ready to eat. So they must be kind of like cooked through. Hey, Chica Stella, been back to work and lurking. Yeah, I think actually a lot of people are doing that now. They're working, people are on holidays, all sorts of stuff happen in the summer, right? I'm gonna message Mary. See where she's at. Next step, Samo, what are you doing? Okay, he's cutting the onion in half next, chat. Juniper berry cloves and allspice. Astra says moo. Cloves. I don't know if we have whole forms of all of this. And I got all spice. And I got bay leaves. I know we did have juniper berries. I don't know if it lives here anymore, though. We are French cooking with Samo. I think I got rid of the juniper berries. They got too old. That was way back when we lived on the island still. Are you making the PK next? Okay, so Sam's gonna make what's known as a onion PK. I'm just gonna scroll down and read what they say about it. A French culinary term, which literally means pricked onion. It's done by attaching one or more bay leaves to a whole or wedged piece of onion using cloves as tacks. This technique makes it easier to find and retrieve the onion, bay leaf, and cloves when it's time to remove them from the recipe. 
Yeah, Palooza. You know it. You got it, dude. Nail it on there. That's exactly it. We're playing with our food for sure. That's the PK. Damn. Never done it, but you know of it. That's so cool. <laughs> One at a time. Go slow and controlled. I think I can take a really cute photo right now, so I'm going to try to chat. Sweet. Okay, next up. He's cutting up the apples. The apples say just peeled, cored, and cut into thick slices. I don't know if you have to peel it, though. I'm saying, Mary, we're cooking your dish today. Whoa, weird how I can only use like some emotes for her. Interesting. Remember trying and failing to roll your own clove cigarettes when you were a kid? What is a clove cigarette? I don't know if I've ever heard of that one, Palooza. I'm intrigued. Yeah, the apples will probably just braise and kind of cook down, become more saucy than anything, I feel. Looking at an apple for an hour and a half. Ah, Kretek itself. An automatopoeic term for the crackling sound of the burning cloves. Cool. Indonesian origin. That's got to smell pretty good, at least. Unfiltered cigarettes. Can't be any worse than the cigarettes that they make here, right? Probably even better, almost. He's losing his apples. They are leaving his life. <laughs> yeah, my nose is still a bit stuffed today. He needs a peeler, please. Oh. Holy. Holy. White Dove with the 29 months in a row resub. And then wait, we have Dark Elvin coming in. Whoa, whoa, that whoa. That chopping whoa, whoa. merits a 51 month resub. How's the day, White Dove? What's going on? Thanks so much for 29 months in a row. You got Samo cooking mostly today, but I'm here. Ah! Recipe, oh, sorry. I didn't know you need a recipe just to I'm making sure I'm doing this peel it. Let's see. I don't know how much I need. One wide strip of orange zest removed with the peeler. Your resub notice did not go in. Do a little refresh, Elvin. Because, yeah, it hasn't come through on my side at all yet. That's insane. Elvin, how are you? What's new? Insane. I think that is 100% the longest term resub that we have on the channel, Elvin. I don't think SCAT is as long as that one. So seriously, thank you for the 51 months in a COVID row. for the third time? Are you fucking Oh serious? my gosh, man. 
You're just a mutant now. You are no longer human. You are mutants. Elvin. <laughs> we'll get better. Like, what can I even say? Yeah, city suck. He is out in New York City. That's kind of fair. Yeah, my dad's like 48 months. I think he just had it. Or 49. You're right, Palooza. Holy smokes, dude. Stay safe out there, okay? Have you at least, like eaten or cooked anything tasty lately stay away from those puppets for coconut shrimp yeah no coconut shrimps samuel's picking the garlics when in doubt just double it the garlic it just says chopped That's all it says, chat. Just chop the garlic. No specific way. You had a close encounter, but you got away clean. That's good. Why is she loving the garlic smell so much? Cooker dog. Yeah, we're learning how to cook some French food today called choucroute garni. Something that I've seen a lot of, especially on online food stuff, things like that, food blogs. But we've never made it ourselves. And then one of our community members asked if Sam could make it today instead of me. So here we go. She used her pots and pans. Love that though, Elvin. Like a gold cleaver, nonetheless, for your sub badge. A gold cleaver. Hi, Titan. How are you? Yeah, you get Sammy cooking face today. Everyone say hi, Samo. Kate non cooking face. Hello. Hey, give me one moment. I'm just going to go blow my nose really quick. Yeah, the gold cleaver. Next one up is a spatula, my dude. I think that's where you actually head to next from the gold cleaver. That's wild. Thanks for being with us for that long. I hope that one day, like soon-ish, we can hang out again. Maybe you have to come experience Canada since we already experienced New York City. Maybe. Aw, dude, thanks. Yeah, we're doing good. I had like pretty fun, crazy stormy day yesterday. We've been adding in some bonus grocery shop IRL streams as well. I have to also ask you this. Is it Cody's birthday tomorrow? We haven't looked yet. We might make a little change to tomorrow's schedule. We shall see. Yeah, it's Samo's best friend's birthday. So, might be a shorter stream. We shall see. Okay, give me one sec. Okay, I'm back. That's the sour cabbage head. That's exactly how it looked when I was taking it apart too. And so Samuel's gonna shred this up for himself. You can buy sauerkraut a few different ways in this store now. Uh, we put the jar away. We're just gonna use the head. Okay, so you can buy it jarred, already shredded for you. Or you can also buy it like vacuum sealed in a full head of cabbage, which is what we did there. And I think it was around $9. Like it's not very inexpensive. And that's just because it does take a long time to do that process correctly since it's fermented. It's not pickled. So fermentation, I mean, it can go bad at any time it wants to. 
So for them to do that properly, yes, it takes time and we will pay for that since we didn't take the time to do that ourselves. Yeah, it looks so strange, right? It almost looks like a brain. So yeah, they just take the whole the whole head of cabbage and it just sits basically in a salt brine for months. And then it goes sour. And one good thing about this, it really helps with digestion. So yeah, fermented things are good for you. Try and for sure eat them at least once a week. I know I can take it. And yeah, I grew up eating this stuff. Haven't had very many dishes where the sauerkraut's been like braised with other stuff though. So this is new. <laughs> Titan, I'm fermented, Kate. I'm old and sour. No, you're not. <laughs> Samo, yeah, he is. <laughs> oh my goodness. Grab you something else, just a rinse on that. I'm the sous chef today, chat. This is just another simple dish that shows how good the simple things are, I'm gonna say. Like, just because the pork meats are inexpensive doesn't mean they're not good. He's got his wine and his kraut. Okay, I'll put this back then. Babo says, put the jar back. Probably close. Sorry. Brown pepper. black pepper. Hey. Good. Look at so this. Is... Look at this chat. That looks so good. I'm going to take a photo. Maybe I'll make a story for Sam cooking today. Sam on stream. Hey. I'm stepping back. Let me know if I can do anything for you. Holding this for a moment. <clears throat> Your mom and you will be counting tomatoes this weekend. Literally picked two five gallon buckets this morning. That's nice that she'll come in and help you. I just have a scratch in my throat. Give me a sec. Just didn't want it to sneak up and me cough on you guys. Okay, so Torino, way you learn to do sauerkraut, render down the bacon, sweat in some onion and garlic, add the sauerkraut, let it caramelize slightly, and then drop the kielbasa in. So, so similar then, right? That's like Ukrainian style. Awesome. Elvin, haven't cooked anything particularly novel in a while. Too busy or tired. Pat surgery, rehab, fiance being sick for a while, third round of COVID. <laughs> and some ticket work stuff, big ticket work stuff. Crazy dude. Ready to retire to Canada. Need someone in the dish pit every day, dude. Yeah, I'm not qualified, but he's willing to learn. And that is what is most important. Yeah, Cookie. Continuing on with our French terms today, mise en place, everything in its place. Not a hassle for you, Titan. What I don't use or can, you can sell. Tomatoes going for $2 or more a pound in the grocery stores, you can sell them homegrown for the same price. And yeah, they won't last long. Hope I'm back to 100% soon. Oh yeah, we'll be A-OK, -okay, Elvin. 
world's trying to take me down, but I won't let it. She keeps on getting back up. Yeah. Whack, whack, whack. Come at me, world. This would make sense then, Trino. What I understand is that my dad's parents went through Germany and Austria when they ran from Stalin in Ukraine during the Holodomir. And that's where Baba learned to make the sauerkraut. See? This actually makes sense. Thanks for sharing that, dude. I really like knowing that kind of history. I don't know a ton of my family history like that stuff. Wish I did. But I only have, like, one living grandparent left. And, yeah, Jima tells us the things that she remembers. I will say that. Yeah, look at how perfectly cubed it is. And we're just gonna do this. So we can focus on the cooking. Look how good that bacon looks, too, though. Black Forest Bacon. It is going, Samo. I can get the other one over here. Well, sometimes it doesn't really stay anywhere up here. That's all. That's the only reason that it's down there. He's setting it up. Nice. Nice one. What? You grow watermelons? Five bucks each? Nom. The view? Is that the view bot? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello up <out> there. <laughs> How are you? Oh, oh, the smells in here. Yeah, that's like me too, Torino. My mom's side is like very big. I know more about my dad's side, but that's because that my grandma is still alive. Mmm, watermelons are on sale. I think we're still waiting for that here. Incognito today, I love it. Five bucks a piece for watermelons. Torino's getting them for three bucks in Thompson. What the fuck? Yeah. Basically, I had watermelon for breakfast every day. Tis the season, right? Like, it is now. It's okay, Vune. I was hoping that you would pop by. I've been thinking about you. We still need to catch up. But life just keeps trying to take me down. I'm not letting it, though. I'm just glad to see Vune and Elvin all in here together. This is a rare occurrence. You guys plan this out? Also, did you put a notification out on Discord this morning? That we're live? I haven't. No, Let's that, do that. that. Since Twitch doesn't. You have to be better at it. Live now! French food today. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. So wait, should Sam just cook on stream? And I just narrate and do the social media part on the side? This is working okay. These are the things that I don't have time to do while I'm streaming. But then there's no other Kate clone to do it either. Clone the Kate. Oh, I forgot to show this in Discord yesterday. Uh, I'm on vacay now. I wish. I am? Okay, View said we're on vacation. <laughs> we're on vacation. Torino! No, just me. 
<laughs> have a train in to give in a few okay elvin seriously you are the longest term resub to the channel yeah take care ivan <laughs> so good to see you dude sorry to hear that you got covid for the third time but you're pretty much superhuman i guess at this point yeah pop by again or just give us a message you want to see what's new and you can't come by stream love you my dude Stay safe out there. Brad Vune. <laughs> What? That is sounding lovely. What do you have that on? Like a medium heat? Yeah, that's what it tells me to do. A medium heat chat to render out the bacon slowly. You don't want to do it too quick because you could burn it. And we are going to keep all of that lovely fat. Yeah, it is actually true, Vune. Blissfully slow is the best way to describe it. I'm not gonna jinx it. People aren't here. You must have a really good day with me. That's true. Shoo. Fruit. Garni. What have you cooked recently, Vune? Hi, Happy! How are you doing? Mmm! Take the fat and make bread rolls with it? We also have Emma Watson in here. Hi, Emma! <laughs> How's it, love you, Looking good, isn't it, though? Yes! I do want to see what you made. Hello, you're doing good? That is great to hear. We are also doing good. We got bacon in our life. And the smells are really lovely, I have to say. There's even a doggo. Come on, come on in. Lay down. Yeah, lay down right here. What's happening? Sweaty bacon is borderline not safe for work. That's what Kame says. Chat, how do we feel? I think, you know what? You're not wrong, Kame. You're not wrong. How are you, by the way? How is fam? The babe's gotta be soon, right? How's life? Good to see you. Rare occurrence these days. Yeah, almost here. Exciting! Yeah, Canadian bacon is not bacon, Torino says. It's ham, and that is also true. That's okay, Kami. Please never say sorry about not being here. Like I always say, life happens. And I'm happy for it for you guys. 
Yep. Never feel bad if you can't come to a stream. Just know that we will always be here for you, regardless. And if we can't, then we'll let you know. Pupper, you can't handle it? Can't handle the smells? Like babies almost coming. More important than cooking with Kate. Samo is really flipping these strategically. Just if you were wondering. But they've already shrunk up quite a bit. Like quite a lot. This is gonna be good. Did the other one? Oh, that's okay, Vune. I'll check it out. The other, other one, he says. I have really had to go in. To the archives here. They were holding it. A hidden message. Holy Vune! That looks so good. Salmon? What is that? The egg? Little Japanese style egg? Green tea? Rice? Miso soup? Did you go for... Like, African or Ethiopian food? I see injera bread and things like that. Looks so good. And then whatever that salad is, nom. Look at this little dish. Ooh. And then those ones. Mm. Yum. That. Ethiopian. I've only went out for that once in my life, but it was so good. And like, I was the only one in the restaurant too, so it was a super cool experience. Just being like fed by the family and getting to talk to them. A little bit more in depth than like a typical night, right? Last one is chickpea avocado salad. Yummo! That sounds so good. I gotta eat more chickpeas. I don't eat enough of them and I really like chickpeas. So now Sam is taking out the bits of bacon that are fully rendered and obviously leaving the ones that aren't. I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit while you do that. Don't, don't make it, Kate. I farted for two days, hashtag regret. Although I will say like, everyone's body kind of digests pulses differently. I think chickpeas are okay for me. Oh, that's so low. There we go. That one's down super low. Complex pineapple. Thanks for number one, the Prime Gaming sub, since I know you only get one a month. Thanks for using it here on me and Samo. You've subscribed for seven months in a row, currently on a three month streak. Thank you for that, friend. Ooh, wee. Two more months and we got a Twitch food, baby. Yeah, usually process them when you eat them like in hummus. And with that, it's fine. But in this salad, so yeah, sometimes our body doesn't digest thing when it's like combined with other ingredients. So maybe the avo chickpea was not okay. <laughs> sometimes avocado gets me too though. Just the extra fat. Interesting. So next up in here, sear in the ribbies in the bacon fat. You've been eating well. That's so good, Bune. We're also being more conscious to do that. So I'm just dumped in the thing of duck fat. White Dove, thanks for gifting a sub to Belladonna. You've gifted 57 subs to the channel now, White Dove. What the heck? And Belladonna's been with us for seven months in a row, too. Okay, that's funny that they both were seven months. 
We're now at four out of 15 subs. Do you need the recipe up still or you're good? Um, Whoa. You would like it up, so I put it back up for you then. Holy. Might need it to heat up a little bit more to get some searing action. Yep. Crank that baby up. Yeah. Probably should have let it heat up a bit. <laughs> the way it's that he does stuff sometimes really bugs me. And it's okay. Not That's everyone okay. cooks the same. Vela, how's your week going so far? <laughs> I can't watch. <laughs> the meat though I know Astra that's what I'm saying too moo moo it don't ask uncle what's happening now he's peppering them up did we try the sauerkraut yet Mmm, that's going to be so good. It's been a good week. I am glad to hear it. Annie, how are you? Oh my gosh, there's a typo in the title. I actually can't. Why would you ever leave that? And plus, why would I write that? <laughs> Cressu set. <laughs> it's the Cressu set cookbook, if you didn't know. <laughs> yeah, very sus. I meant to. I was just testing not my mod. <laughs> but seriously, thank you, Vian. Trying to be less perfectionistic in everything you do and otherwise. Well, there are certain things we can look over. That is not one of them. So I appreciate you. That is sizzling. Mmm, a bacon bit. Mmm. That bacon, though. Oh, snap. <laughs> Setting off the hype train for Samo. Thank you very much, Vicariously. For, yep, we got the Twitch food, baby. Nine months in a row, chat. What are we going to name it? Cress you set, possibly? <laughs> Annie, thank you for the 500 biddies. Had to meet up with the new chem teacher to give her all the books she needs. You're like, take them. Take it and go, please. How does she seem? Seems like a good fit. Vune with the double tag, Vune. We're also at a level two hype train already, so choo choo to all of you. So searing, searing the ribs means that we're going to make them golden brown and delicious on the outside, but not necessarily cook them through. And you do this with a higher heat on the stove top. And you also want a pretty fair amount of fat to be able to sear things properly. She's a bit green. Hopefully she picks things up quickly. PhD from Yale. So that's a good start. That is. Okay, I'm going to be right back one moment.
Hello, I'm back. Mary, you did show up. Woohoo! This stream is for Mary Todd 50. I'm glad I messaged you. How's the day, Mary? Good to see you. <laughs> no breaking bad here. Sam, it's time to cook. <laughs> Hi, Scat. How are you? Everyone is slowly filing in, and it's great to see y'all. And yeah, those ribs couldn't be more perfect. The cut of them. Like, those are better than the side ribs that we usually get from Costco. Nice. And he mowed the lawn today. It was so humid outside. Yeah, it's, uh, it's building up another storm again today here. But whoa, oh, yesterday, yesterday was insane. I was looking for Sam's phone, but I think he has it on him. Give your phone out. Yeah, I don't have a photo though. Oh. Just woke up, Mary, a late morning. Oh, that sounds really lovely though. Sometimes you need that in your life. Yeah, this was yesterday at around, what time was that even? Like seven? Uh, yeah, I'll tell you when you finish. <laughs> oh yeah, 818. <laughs> Annie, we were at like a super high elevation there. I was like, Sam, you drive, I'm watching the sky. You just keep driving. I'm going to watch whatever this wants to do. And then behind that, all of the white, that was rain. That was just a wall of rain that almost flooded us off of the road. Yeah, we were storm chasing. Like that was insane. And so I talked to Randall this morning and he said, yeah, they came over here and they were swirling. It was kind of purpley even by the time they came this way. Like, woohoo! A little bit more wind. Oh, baby. <laughs> yeah, that was wild. That was actually insane. I'm just gonna go drive the other way from wherever this is going. I really like thunderstorms too, so I always get so excited. So that was a crazy one to watch build up though. Like we stopped just for a little break yesterday, but we couldn't see behind the building we stopped at. I was like, Sam, I think we should just move so we can like see all of the open area around us. Like I don't like that I can't see. Thanks for the awesome hype train, friendos. Good to see everyone slowly filing in today. One more rendition on the ribbies there. And then things will start going into the pot. Two more. Smelling really nice and porky inside. Trev, how's it going? What you got on the menu? She had to move inside of here. What, you want your phone? No water. Take that and I'll refill it. Hey! Kudaz is continuing the gift sub they got from this guy right here, Omdog. Thanks, Kudaz. Welcome back to the kitchen crew. How are you? Annie is reading Sir Isaac Newton's Principle at the moment. It's only 594 pages. Better get to reading then. That's actually something that I need to start doing too. I think things are not going to change in my life until I start reading again. I forgot to do for 
notice. Trav got the Discord notification because because y'all know that Twitch won't. <laughs> <laughs> it's a constant battle. It really is. Well, I'm glad that I did it. All yeah, Sam was like, did you do it, Kate? And I was like, I didn't yet. I was like, do it, Daddy. I'm glad it worked for one person at least. Boss man? Hello there, boss man. It's good to see you. Did you miss anything? You missed a little bit. We learned about what we were making today. You're cooking some French food with Sammy or Mary. So it's called Chacrout Garni. Basically means different inexpensive cuts of pork slowly cooked with sour cabbage. So fermented cabbage as well as apples, some wine, things like that. I've never eaten it before, so we are all learning together. <laughs> yeah, imagine Mary. We request cooking a little lamb. Annie had a little lamb. I still want to yeah. make lamb shank coming up, though. A lamb shank -aroo. Yeah, the eternal question. So we have, these are pork side ribs, but cut spare rib style. So cut into thirds. We also have the black forest bacon, which was rendered out first. We picked that up at the butcher shop yesterday on stream, if you want to go back. And then we have German City Smokies and a traditional bratwurst sausage. Those go in the end. Yeah, it is pork heaven. Yeah. 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 So they don't sear off the sausages in the recipe at all. They just kind of pop them in the pot later on, like 30 minutes before it's done. But I would suggest searing the sausages too. It'll just give you a little bit extra flavor. You really can't go wrong. And yeah, it takes a little bit of time to build up these layers of flavor. It's not so much doing it quick, it's about doing it right. Annie, your students' AP scores were a little disappointing. What was the average? Sometimes it just works out that way, like, with the kids that end up in your class, though. Like, yeah, that's got to be interesting as a teacher, like, trying to understand everyone's brain and how they learn. Yeah, we're just doing some salt and pepper on there, Mary. I melted all the ribs when I started doing the mirepoix. Or, sorry, when I started doing the mise en place. And I just added pepper... Okay. Okay. Air's blowing with this fan here. A 3.0 and the whole state average was 3.4. Dang. That's interesting. And so then, uh, what do they do with that? Like, do they say that it reflects on the teacher or the curriculum? Holy! One of the top students in your class got a one? Hmm, I wonder. Yeah, difficult to parse the blame. Totally. <laughs> Trev! <laughs> We need to fill up the pepper grinder. Oh, they had COVID right around the time of the test. I know, right? You don't really get a buy just because you get sick. You're still expected to, well, uphold the expectations.
Yeah, don't know why our culture relies so heavily on test scores. They're not reliable. It's true. I don't know. I guess that's just what it's been done for a long time, right? It takes a lot to make changes like that in society. So you're always going to have people that don't want it to happen. We're filled back up. Yeah, interesting. And yeah, there's lots of good students. Like, I always wanted to be a good student, but I was so bad at taking tests. Like, my anxiety would just destroy me and I would forget everything. Like, it's literally like my mind would just go blank. And then I always felt like such shame around that, right? And then you just can't focus at all. So true. Titan, is your plate ready? We will let you know, my dude. Okay, I was just helping you do your stuff. You're the opposite palooza, crap student, but you could ace the tests. That is nuts! That always blew my mind. Yeah, luckily I had some smart friends that helped me through school. At least take the tests. The cram school culture is insane in Korea. Yeah, I can't even imagine, Trev. I don't really know much about it. I actually did know that that was a crappy. I did know that was a fish. I was like, what? Your bio teacher basically crying because you've been suspended half the year, came in, aced the midterm, but he couldn't even grade you because after that many days, it was just an auto fail. Wild. Yeah, imagine fresh caught walleye and trout. One day we will. Mm. I love it. We need a boat. Huh? We don't need a boat? We need a fisherman? Just need a fishing rod? Right off of the shore? So we got German City Smokies and some Bratwurst in there. Yeah. Honestly, I'll buy it in a heartbeat. Just, I mean, if I go to the bank and say I want to buy this property, they're going to laugh at me. They're going to laugh at us, Titan. Ow. Careful now. Wet things in hot oil are mean sometimes. Why the worst? Uh, it just said... What is the... Turinger? Turinger? Bratwurst. That one's not the one to get it to focus. Did I say that right? Turinger? I've actually not eaten a ton of bratwurst in my life. I really haven't. I definitely grew up on like Ukrainian kielbasa, stuff like that. And yeah, don't these sausages look so good? All from the Victoria Fancy Sausage we went to on stream yesterday. <laughs> the whole stream is just us frying meat in a pot. <laughs> Mary, your hubby loves brats. Are you going to try and make this for him after watching Samo make it? We would be down with that, Annie. The gumbo or just us frying meats the whole stream. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Mary for bringing this into our life, honestly. 
Yeah, we'll just make a stream frying meat all day long. I'm all in. Right, I don't have that much money. Are you okay, yeah. dearie? Yeah, we don't have that much money. The meat's too expensive. Too loyal. <laughs> Mary's gonna try making it, yes. I like this version that has the apples in it rather than potatoes. I just really love pork and apple together. And yeah, the sauerkraut's super tasty. I didn't weigh out our little head that we had, but it's probably pretty close to two pounds, hey? Maybe, Maybe it was one. A bit more. Even over? I think it was a little. That's true. It is hard to tell the weight of it. It did absorb a lot of moisture. Has anyone else in stream had chacrut garni before? Or is this new for all of us? Look at the way that's just splitting open. Magical. It gave you a kiss. Ow. Reminded you that you are still alive. Yep. Paying about 100 to 150 a week for meat these days. And you're feeding, what, four people, Trev? A four-person family? Like, I say us. We cook for a four-person family here, but we're all adults. So maybe even a little bit more, right? So next in, garlic. Next in, sliced garlic bitties, but not the sauerkraut yet. We fry up the garlics. Holy. And then you stir in the sauerkraut and apples once that's golden brown. Nice, Mary, you bought the cookbook. Yeah, I did look online. If there was a link for the Lake Crusette version of the Chacrute Garni, but there wasn't. So it's just from the cookbook. So thank you for sharing that with us. Vicariously, this recipe's new to you. This recipe's new to me. Yeah. Trina doesn't do meat every day, grew up with that. Got tired of it. Hey. <laughs> Woohoo, Annie! Thank you for the $13.86 going towards our true freezer fund. We are getting there, chat. Annie says, I'm chipping away. Yeah, you are. You're going to have the biggest rating of your name on that freezer. Half of it will just be for you. <laughs> The smell in here is wild. But yeah, there is a lot of good food out there that doesn't contain meat. If you cook it properly, it's very tasty and satiating. Samo needs the recipe now. So we add the sauerkraut with the apples. Okay. So we add the onion to the pan after we stir in the sauerkraut. Add your orange zest, bacon, and wine. And then we need it to reach, we need the liquid to cover it about three quarters of the way so we can add water to fill it up if we need it, says. Yeah, that includes the fish prices too. I think fish are almost more expensive than meat now, Trev. For sure, for sure. The prices are the same where you're at vicariously or less than two years ago. No, we have not seen a pattern like that at all. All of our current sale prices are what things used to cost two years ago. 
It's wine time. Almost, yeah. You just lay the ribbies on the top. Hey, that is okay, Annie. Thanks for letting us know. You'll be out of commission next couple weeks due to a family reunion. That's so nice. You That's gotta see your bullshit. sister. <laughs> where, where are you going? They're coming straight from Paris. That is adorable, Annie. <laughs> yeah, that's BS, as Samo would say. Not allowed. Oh, fuck. Okay. Get everything there. Have the onions leaving. The root in place. You did that. Onions are in. Add the orange zest. Add a little bit of allspice. Add the... Yeah, you can add the bacon as well. And then it says lay the ribbies on top. And then bring to a simmer and cook for around one hour. Yeah, he doesn't say much, but then all you hear, that's BS. Bubble cracker, this looks heavy. We can talk to France about this one. Dr. Riggles, how's it going? This looks so good and interesting, right? Water. A little bit of water, how much please? Water. Fill, it. Fill it. Thank you. So we need the liquid three quarters covering. They said to add water, obviously, until you see it come up. I'll help Samo with that. It's coming up. And we're gonna stop there. We'll leave a little bit of the water on the side. Okay. Oh. Bring which word. Blah, 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 blah. Mix it to a little boil. Cover. Red sauce. What? After the hour. 30 minutes. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Why is there no some spice? Because there's only all spice. hi -oh! Got you. Yeah, the ribbies look so good, hey? Okay, let's just turn this down a bit now. So this is going to come up to a simmer. You do a little cleanup while you're waiting for that. That. Is that all that has to go over? Okay, I will be right back then. You guys can wait with some while this comes up to a simmer.
Who are you talking to? They know who I'm talking to. <laughs> who is this guy talking to? People that can read my mouth. Are you reading it. his lips? It looks very German. So the origin of this dish is German and French from the Alsace region. Basically where Samo was born. He knew he was muted. He knows this. Okay, so she's cranked. <clears throat> I said, we have German sausages, German bratwurst, German black forest bacon, Ugh. ribs, sauerkraut. Yeah. Might be more German influenced than French. French. But they just took the French words they for put, it. They just put a big, a big crock and said, it's French. Chacrout Garni. It's like the roads built here. Holes in the road, road. This is a road. You drive here. Now we gotta wait for this for an hour. It's coming. I'm gonna make some. Uh, you were. Are you doing pastry stuff? Yeah, I'm gonna make a quick little pie dough. Okay. While we're waiting for this to simmer on the side, the apples are French. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. The wine and the apples, Mary. <laughs> That's where they got us, hey? And then the onion pique. <laughs> Fucking prick. Prick. <laughs> Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Sam -o. He's cranking it up still. What? It's starting. Just in the middle there, you can see the movement. What? Can't rush this stuff, cat. But holy, the way that those ribs are gonna cook down, this is gonna be really filling. <laughs> really good, yeah. Like those ribs, and then these sauces. We still on have top. all of that to put in. Right. T minus four days until the first James Webb images are released. Oh, I wanted to ask you this, Annie, actually. Thanks for the reminder. How do you feel about them starting up CERN again? How do you feel about it? I wonder what we're going to see on the images. Gonna find aliens. You feel overjoyed? Nice. Yeah, it's been interesting reading about some of the opinions on that I want to eat. Samo wants to eat this now <laughs> he says chat but we can't what kind of wine you want to show Mary the wine you use so did you ask for a dry Riesling or this is just what you chose I asked for a dry Riesling and... so they only had a sweet Riesling which I told Sam to not get so I got a Pinot Grigio I told him to get a Pinot Grigio which is like a pretty medium acidity and sweetness as far as white wines go. You just don't want a sweet wine. Definitely more dry. So a dry white wine, if you can Riesling, just because that's more typical to the region where this would be made. Yeah, the fact that they did maintenance on it for like 10 years, right? An Alsatian Gewürz would have been nice as well. But not a Gewürz Treminer, right? Or is that the same thing? Oh, it was only down for a year? Where did I read somewhere that they were like maintenance for 10 years? interesting and yeah mary you don't drink wine so there it is then and yeah they will always kind of help you in the recipes too Hi. this is what i will say though don't buy a wine that you can't sit down and also drink don't cook with that wine scott you've only ever used chardonnay that's a good one too yeah choose which one that you would like to use just I would not recommend cooking with a sweet wine unless it specifically calls for that. Wine. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> the loser.
it coming up. We see the bubbles. Tamo's like, let me loose. Interesting seeing the little bit of like blood start coming out of the bones there. It has that many components? I had no idea. Amo says we might braise it for longer just because none of us like tough ribs. Say by how those look though, I think they'll cook really nicely. They had a good amount of fat in there with them. Well, I took them out of the yeah. So like yeah. That's insane, Annie. Each thing designed to look for different things. <laughs> the loser Samuel's with you, he says. I'm a simple man. All wine just tastes like spoiled grapes to me. It's fermented Welches. <laughs> oh my goodness. Is Vyun still here? We're making butter tarts. Uh, I have, I've used that tunnel, Mary. Happy to say it. It is one thing that I did want to use when I went to Europe. I took that train. I went from Paris to London. And it was really cool. Yeah, really fun. Quick. I think it was only like an hour. Uh, quite expensive, right? Because you could do that trip so quickly. And that was also the one area of my trip that I had a very difficult time at customs is I almost actually couldn't get into the UK. They were like asking me banking info and stuff to make sure I had enough money to leave the country and not like overstay. Yeah, it was really interesting, but beautiful train. I have to say that really nice like station where it's at, all that stuff. The channel, yeah. So yeah, definitely an experience. Did it all by myself? Was it kind of scary? Yeah. I was a young Kate. Like, how old was I? Maybe 23? It was like... What? I left you, yeah. You were working in the kitchen. And I she went... She left me! I left Samo. I left him here. And you've used it too, Annie? When was that then? When did you use it? I also don't know how long that has been open for. Yeah, a bright-eyed and bushy-tailed Kate. The bubbles coming out of this? Perfect. It's actually perfect. Okay, we'll see this in one hour. When you lived in Germany still. Okay, so Samuel's just gonna put that to the side for us. Okay. Yeah, early 2000s. See you in an hour. Samo leaves us. I'm just gonna put this fan down because it's being annoying and blowing me hairs. Me hairs. And then we are gonna first just have a little wipe of the board here. I'm gonna just pop this up top. Do a little cleanup. And then we're gonna make a batch of Sally's Baking Addiction Buttery Flaky Pie Crust. You might even double it. I know I have to go grab some Tender Flake from the... from the fridge for it and probably a pound of butter. I'll be back momentarily for that. Yeah, your gap year, Paloozer. I like it. That is really hard to believe, Annie. But actually, at the same time, like, not really. Like, it's hard sometimes when I think back. For me, it's hard to believe that I've been in this industry for over 10 years now. That's a tough one for me. It's like, holy. Okay, let me bring up this recipe for us. And yeah. Got a crazy curly hair today, chat. 
doing whatever it wants. Smoke a hit before the ribs? Who? Me or Samo? <laughs> Kate is BB Bubs today. Valley's pie crust. Mm. Butter tarts. And so we're just going to make the pie dough today. And we will make the rest of the tarts tomorrow. So I'll put this into chat for us. This is the one. It's also in Discord already. From a long ways back. So what does this make? I think it usually makes a top and a bottom crust. Uh, our butter tarts are smaller, right? They're like little individual bite size. Maybe three biters. You got a big mouth. So maybe we will do... Three times batch? That would be like 900 grams of flour. That seems pretty accurate. A three times batch of buttery flaky pie crust. And while we make that, we have to suffer and smell the things simmer. Just grabbing our mixing bowl here. This token one. And like I said, I just have to go to the fridge and grab some tender flake lard or shortening and some butter for us. Good afternoon, 514. How are you doing? I will be back momentarily. Hang tight. We got the butter and the lard. Boop. Hey, unsalted butter. Ender flake. I do pure lard, but if you want to do vegetable shortening, you can. I just always find that the lard tastes a little bit better, honestly. And so we're going to start by measuring out. I'm going to do it by weight. Sally does for us, which is really nice. Flour and salt in here. And then we'll measure out the butter and shortening and cube all of that up before we mix it into the flour. And then lastly, we bring the dough together or the pastry with a little bit of water. How long does the lard last? Quite a while, Mary. I'm keeping this in the fridge. We bought like four pounds of it a bit back. This says best before November 2022. And then I will say this as well. Like some stores carry this in the fridge here. But then also other stores will have it just like sitting out on the shelf. So that will also determine how long it's going to last too, right? And those are kind of the things you don't really know. Okay, I'm just going to put some batteries in my scale. Then we will start... Those periods are for best quality only. Lard retains the quality for about six months at the room temp. And a year in the fridge. No matter when you open it. Yeah, okay. That's like pretty fair, I would say. And then, like, you can also freeze it, too, and then that will keep it even longer. 
But yeah, I always recommend like putting it in the fridge. We'll just help it last a bit longer. Use your judgment. For sure, right? That's why I always say like use your senses. Eyes. Use your hands if you need to like feel it. Only use your palate. Only use your taste if you can't determine with your other senses. Like your nose will definitely tell you as well, right? Okay, we need 930 grams of flour. Just all purpose. This is a three times batch. I'm gonna make quite a few butter tarts, probably three dozen. The extra pastry also freezes well. <laughs> Amp. Frozen lard is my Canadian Spotify radio name. What's going on back there, Astra? Got coughs? You like lard better than Crisco. So I feel the same way, Mary. I used Crisco like twice, let's say. I used it once and I really didn't like it. But then I used it again just in case maybe the product I got was a bit off. And yeah, still did not enjoy it. So went back to Tender Flakes and we've had no issues. Okay, next one. One tablespoon of salt. And this pastry, even though there's salt in it, yes, you can go sweet with it. Trying to find all the things that have been put in miscellaneous areas now. The salt was in the coffee station. <laughs> He's trying to trick me. Chat. Samo's salt in his coffee. Just gonna check this out. Got some crazy smells happening back here. I want to make sure that the bubbles are not too much. No, oh, it looks good. It looks really, really good. What a trickster. Okay, so one tablespoon is going to be like two large pinches for me. And then next up, we will calculate our butter. That is smelling really good. Next to the side. Our butter amounts. And lard. Tear. First one. We need 270 grams of the unsalted butter. 514. What do you do when the find the, or when you find the smoker you've been looking for and at a great price, but your wife says you don't need any more smokers? We're asking for a friend. Well, to you, I say sometimes it's better to ask for forgiveness. <laughs> That's my answer to you, 514. Right? So you already know what to do then. <laughs> I love how Mary's like, buy it. <laughs> yeah, ask for forgiveness, not for permission. Of course the answer right off the bat's gonna be no. But then when the, they start to eat all of the tasty things off of said smoker, effortless, it pays off for itself. You're good. Yeah, sleeping on the couch can't be that bad, like Torino said. <laughs> hey, 270 grams. Let's guesstimate. What happens if I get it on the first try?
It is 454 grams, and this is 271. Does that count as me getting it on the first try? Give a ceramic smoker about the size of the extra large big green egg, but the cooking surface isn't quite big enough. You need something else. That was impressive. I'm so impressed right now. I still got it. My portioning skills. That's how Mary got her Traeger, see? It went the other way, though. She would have had to try and convince the hubby. See? Genders don't pertain to cooking techniques. <laughs> That's so cute, though, Mary. And now has, hubby is happy, right? He gets all the tasty bits from the Traeger. Okay, let's tear this amount of shortening or lard. 390. We got this one a little bit left to use. Now this is done. Put that in the recycle. Now this one too. He's a happy camper. There you go. Love to hear it. Let me in. It doesn't want to let me in. Okay, move this over. Oh my goodness, Annie! I wish the truck was done. We would come and cater the whole thing. Like, this is literally why we want to do the truck. I wish we could come and help. Cooking for 15 people. No Honestly, problem. though, Annie, like, if you need any help with that, let me know. We can, like, help you maybe streamline the cooking process, things like that. How many people are planning to help cook? Okay, we need 390. Trying to find things that are quick to put together, like tacos. Holy, this one I'm five grams off. I'm so good, chat. So good. Yeah, adults mainly who are cooking. The loser tacos get my vote. That is a pretty easy one. And like a good one that basically everyone can eat, right? Like you can even make vegan or vegetarian tacos if you need to. Hold that back up. And now we're going to cube up these fats, let's say. I just call them fats. And also a lot of grilling. Good one. Because, yeah, grilling things are quite simple, too. Let's use a small cutting board. And then we just need to measure out 360 mils of cold water. To bring it together. And then I will say, like, usually I don't use all the water. And then if I remember this recipe, I've always had to add actually extra flour into the bowl to mix. So I'm going to bring my flour bucket back out. Because yeah, usually I actually find that there's a bit too much fat. So right off the bat, I'm just going to add an extra half cup of flour. This is how you know that I've made this recipe so many times. You're renting a house. Okay, I was going to say, like, what is the facility? Is it a hall? A house? And he answered it. It's a house. And then four adults cooking. That should be doable for 15 people. And now we're going to cube up our fats. Nice and small so that they can get easily worked into the flour. That's how you make a flaky pastry crust. Put that side back together. We'll go along the other way. Three. 
Originally, your dad wanted each of the kids to take a day and cook for everyone. Like, one person cooks for 15 people? Whoa. Thought it'd be better to have one person plan the meal and everyone pitch in. Yeah, the kids mean a bunch of 40 to 50 year olds. <laughs> Too cute. Hey, Jesse, where's Sammy? He's actually just taking a quick break because we are simmering his dish, the Shakru Garni, for about an hour. There's probably like 40 minutes left now, maybe 45 minutes. So during the break, we're just making up some flaky pastry crust because tomorrow we're making butter tarts on stream. Canadian dessert. Yeah, we always call them kids. That's so funny. That's what I was imagining anyways when Annie said it. Kids as in the siblings, which are now fully grown. extra good foods today all because of mary you wouldn't mind seeing sammy again hey you say the word and maybe he will appear yeah you literally just missed him i have not been on stream for very long Next up, lard cutting. Huh? They said I wouldn't mind seeing Sammy. No Kate face today, I guess. Yeah, he'll be back out when the food needs checking. Loser knows. Are we checking it? He's busy salting the coffee. Yeah, no Mary, deal. you're my favorite. <laughs> it's actually so warm in here. I need help. We're popping this up. We need some airflow. He left me to roast in the kitchen. To make pie dough. Help. Oh, we have the massive fan. I can go get it. We do have big fans. Just people will start to say, what's that noise? Yeah. Very large, fam. Sammy, your wheels are missing. What? Squigs, what? Oh, on his shirt. Oh. <laughs> it's true, actually. Where'd they go? The dog is right here, Jesse. Right here. She couldn't be closer to me. She thinks that she's going to eat some of this lard that I'm cutting up, but it's not happening. I'd eat it up real good, guys. <laughs> I've always wanted one of the air exchanger fans, the one that basically suck everything out of the house and replace it. Yeah, those work so good. So good. I mean, hey, restaurant kitchens don't typically have AC. Roast! We're used to this. Roast yourself! Roasted. Roast the cooks. Servers? Yes? Air conditioning. Cooks? Roast them. Annie, how is your kitchen <laughs> stuff going, by the way? Never really followed up afterwards. How's the renos going? Did you run into any bad things? Ugh, yuck, Torino. I don't remember that quote, as I often don't. <laughs> I'm so hungry I could eat a bowl of lard with hair on it. Yuck. Okay, I guess you don't need to put this on here. Just move this over a bit. We're making some pie dough. For butter tarts. Because it was Canada Day not long ago, but then I never made butter tarts, and then we still got a craving. So oh, here we are. Well, we gotta send it to some folks as well. 
My dad heard there was butter tarts. He's like, butter tarts? Put those in the package, right? And actually, this is the real story. Thanks for telling it. Thanks for bringing it back yeah. to my mind. My butter tarts are used as currency to get other things. <laughs> Sam's dad like brings butter tarts to restaurants and then they get stuff for free. So he's feeding my butter tarts to the servers for his... What? Well-being? <laughs> Now those are some pricey butter tarts. Hey, is uh, TwitchCon EU this weekend, right? Is this one coming up now? Hitch and Sarah should be arriving soon? Or would it be today starting then? Okay, I cubed up all of the fats. I got fat hands. We have the measuring cup for the water just on the side for now. We want it as cold as possible, so that's why we don't go pour it out yet. And then first things first, we're just going to grab a spatula and stir the salt with the flour. Oh really? Sarah's taking a train a town or two ahead to take a rest day and Hitch is going to catch up to her on the bike? Thanks for the info, loser. Oh, there's a doggo here. Hi doggo. But other than that, sounds like they had a pretty good trip. There was only the one day we raided them and chat said they had like just the worst day ever. I felt so bad. Oh, a bit under the weather. Hey, that's like a big thing to take on. Like never mind just doing the cycle trip, but also like broadcasting it the whole time. That is fair. And now we're gonna make, actually we don't need to make the well. So from here, now that we mix the salt into the flour, pour in all of the fats. Just like me, she's been under the weather. And yeah, like I said, I don't know now if it's like allergies, honestly, or what. But how I currently feel, that's what it seems like. Kind of shy the first couple of days. Really hit a stride. That's good. And yeah, he's got other company other than just chat. That's so true. Like, I always enjoy when Samo's in here with me. Even if he's not doing much. Just like hanging out. Something about it. <laughs> Any... She gonna broadcast the train ride? That way she can say it went off without a hitch. I am dead. That might be one of your best quotes ever. <laughs> There's not nearly enough people in here right now to appreciate that one. <laughs> Look at this goodness. Now we fluff it on up. And then I've always wanted to take this mixture and just put it in the food processor and have an easier way of life. But I don't think it's going to turn out as delicious if we do that. My nose is honestly threatening running right now, but I think we'll be able to make it through. So we're trying to basically separate all the little fat cubes and get them coated in the flour and that's what helps this mix not stick to your hands as bad get it all coated up Do we have a pastry cutter? I don't, Annie. I don't often use it. I don't know. I think if I had it, I wouldn't use it to begin with. Even when my mom had one, I never used it really. I don't know why. 
It's been a while since you saw me make a pie. Yeah, tomorrow we're making like mini, basically like mini pecan pie is what the pecan butter tart's gonna be. So now we start to smoosh the fats into the flour because it's warm out today. This is actually making my life a little bit easier, but it also means we gotta work quicker. Captain Taft. Hey, thanks so much. How's it going? Since you could not chime in this weekend or this past weekend, I wish you and Sam a belated happy Canada Day. I appreciate you. Mary runs hot. She says she uses the cutter. So that'd be like if Sam was trying to make this pie right now. I love how Sam is using up one of his menu requests on the day that he is also cooking someone else's on stream. Um, dog, redeeming a Kate menu request with 75,000 pots and pans points, a sous vide lamb shank. Hey, Blondie, we're not affected by the Rogers outage. Now nah, we got Shaw. What's happening? Are they fully down like Canada wide? It's actually funny you say that because we were once upon a time thinking of switching. Shh, don't say nothing, Samo. Yeah, it's working for once. Don't mention it. Rogers outage nationwide? What happens to their slogan then? We got the best Canada-wide coverage. <laughs> I will just retract this statement. <laughs> Blondie has tell us, so we are good then. So that's why Palooza saw the meme for Canada waiting for internet to come back then. Sheesh. It's already not good coverage as it is. <laughs> Blondie. Hey now. Hey, they gotta bug us Canadians for something. The Americans can't take all the flack. This is flaking in really nicely, so this is going quicker than I thought it would, honestly. So just basically smushing the little fat bits to make it look kind of sandy. And this is how you get the flaky pie crust. Just don't want to see like the big cubes of the fat still kicking around in here. If you see that, then that means you got to keep working it. The fat globules. Scientific term. Globules. Blondie, you were talking to co-workers about the Blackberry outage 11 years ago? Yeah, I think I actually remember that one. So my mom had Blackberries for her phone. They issued a public apology. Yeah, I wonder if Rogers is going to do the same. Let's see how long it takes for them to get it back up, though. That's what I'm intrigued by. almost too warm today to make pie almost too warm for Kate's hands even and I got the icy hands okay I think we're gonna stop there you're unsure you can fluff it up one more time Yeah, what's the saying? Roger and out. Yeah, did they unplug it and plug it back in? Poor IT guys. So much flack. Hey, okay. usually this doesn't build up like this, right? So that's how we can also tell that it's quite warm out today. I'm going to try and get all of that off, though, as much as I can. 
And then I am going to go rinse off my hands really quick. So I can grab the cold water next up. What's your timer at, Samo? What was that, sorry? 18 minutes. Eighteen minutes until we check the ribs. Yum. Hello, hot water. Oh, I have to ask this because the TikTok is going around the internet right now. Anyone see the TikTok of the Twitch streamer setting off the Pikachu firework in his bedroom? I'm also just going to blow my nose really quick. If you haven't seen the video of the Twitch streamer setting off the Pikachu firework in his bedroom, go search it up. I'm sure it's on YouTube as well. I'm back just had to do a double hand wash since I blew my nose are my allergies bothering me yeah how can you tell a boss man honestly don't know what it is anymore why would he do that to Reno no idea because it can go viral that's exactly why he did it the funniest part in the video is his mom just freaking out at him it was so funny. And then he's trying to tell the firemen that it just went off on his own, but all the people clipped him, like, literally f lighting it. <laughs> yeah, for content. Must be going for the Darwin Award. Yeah, my nose is stuffy. I know. It was way worse on Tuesday. Okay. So, 360 milliliters of very ice-cold water. As cold as you can get it. So you really don't want to melt the fats. Okay, so now we're going to add this just a little bit at a time. Do it in like three increments. Pour it in and then we'll stir it with the spatula. Just so our hands don't get sticky at first. Kind of work that moisture throughout. And this is like the most successful way I've ever made pie dough, is doing these steps. Which is why I always show it to you guys as well. And then Annie for like a gluten-free crust. I have used the one-to-one -one 
gluten-free flour substitute. And I have made a pie crust by just switching out the flours. It's a little bit more like flaky, doesn't have as much structure to it, but was still a pie crust. Still counts. Yeah, it even almost seems like I still don't have enough flour in here. More. The brand. Uh, that time, it was actually a brand that you won't be able to get. It was just from, like, the Save on Foods brand, the store. But recently, I've used the Robin Hood one that they came out with, and that one works good. That's the one I used for your cookies, actually, when I sent. And I think Bob's Red Mill is also good. Mm, I wish. I wish we could buy that here, the King Arthur. Just because we use so many of their recipes for baking too. But yeah, I've never seen King Arthur flour in any of the stores here. I think I can buy it directly from their site, but who knows how much shipping is to Canada. Okay, a little bit more liquid. Pour in. And we're almost there. See how it's slowly forming together now? Oh, yes. Good one, Captain Taft. And the recipe that I'm using has like your tablespoons, cups, measurements like that. But it's always more consistent and accurate if you use metric. <laughs> Sad to say. <laughs> Usually you mix your own flour blends and then you can control the xanthan gum. Yeah, that's a pretty typical stabilizer that they add in. I've seen it in lots of them. Kind of cutting in the moisture with your spatula and then we'll switch to our hands next here momentarily and then we don't want to overwork the flour too much to the point where we are developing gluten because that's how you get a really tough pastry not a really light and flaky one that's easy to cut through and eat. The more that you need your pie dough, the tougher and harder your pie crust is going to bake up. Also, the more moisture you add in to your pastry is also going to make it more tough. So you're really trying to add in the least amount of liquid as possible. So now, usually what I do, just kind of give all of this just a little press together. And yeah, same for rolling. I really don't love to re-roll the scraps. Like, don't just ball them all up and re-roll them out that way. Usually I just layer the scraps together and then roll them. Because yeah, then you're developing gluten as soon as you ball it up and roll it back out. Yeah, let's kind of start pushing this together and see how it starts to form. Kind of just clump it in your hand. Sometimes there's a little bit of dry stuff that we got to work back in. You can take apart some of the bigger chunks that got more moisture in them. And that's what works the best. We could also do this entire process in a food processor, but I don't think we can control it as much, the end result. Speed! Speed, my dude!
He says, hello, my beautiful ass Canadians. <laughs> hey, dude. I'm currently on right now, giving Samo a break from his chacroot garni. How are you, sir? And thank you for the 30 months in a row. I'm making some pie dough so we can make butter tarts tomorrow, aka mini pecan pies. Just Canadian version. How was the week? But yeah, we got some tasty meats in a pot cooking beside me that Samo was prepping. Ooh, good point, Annie. Yeah, the revolutions of the food processors could even heat up the fat, messing up the consistency of the dough. Missed y'all, yeah. Been like a pretty busy week, dude. We did our grocery shop stream yesterday, if you want to pop back. It was a nice short one. Went to a new butcher shop. Got some special meats for today's stream. And yeah, I've been like fighting off allergies, I guess. In the early part of the week, so now my nose is bugging me. Yeah, two and a half years. Then Elvin this morning. Fifty-one months. Like, pardon me. I'm going to break this up a bit. because There's all those dry bits I see. Gone by so fast. What you been working on? Your tractor still? I also just want to send you some love speed because I saw on your Facebook that you like lost a friend this week at an air show. So RIP, my dude. Annie, you must have just missed him. Yeah, Ivan came in for a visit. He's uh, battling COVID for the third time now in New York City. What the heck is that place? But yeah, he's doing good, he said. work the dough the tractor's done okay i might have passed over the finished photo i know that we were talking a bit back while you were still working on it okay we're bringing this together guys it's okay to need it a touch just don't do it too much and like my kneading is more just kind of pressing the things and watching for the dry crumbs to fall out. Between that and monkeypox. Oh yeah, I haven't been up to date on that whole thing, Annie. Are they getting that sorted out or is it still making its way around the world? Okay, that's looking good. And like, you can see the layers of stuff that we're working on building here. There's a method to this madness, chat. I swear. A lot of moisture in that area. Cases are really high around New York. There's just so many people condensed into a small area. Okay. Now we're going to make one big dough ball. We're balling. Heating oil is down. Nice, Annie. 
Rando was just telling me this morning that they added on a new sto a storm drainage fee here to our hydro or the water bill rather <laughs> we're all just like what the heck just random charges coming out of nowhere yeah fill up your tank while it's cheap right okay so lots of lard over on this side and then see how it's like kind of coming together but not really but that's just meaning that we haven't overworked it which i would rather see this kind of have to mush it together rather than it being like one even thing and then just to make this easier for rolling tomorrow because this is just going to sit in the fridge overnight i'm going to cut this into four 150 dollars saving just out of the blue yeah just use this and it's always interesting too when i cut this in half sometimes see the layers that we worked on see the fat layers in there i'd have to turn down the light a little bit yeah so that's what we want our pastry to look like and then it's gonna go in the fridge to chill until tomorrow and that's what i've also found to be the easiest way to make pie make your pastry the day before and let it rest in the fridge and then it is effortless to roll out the next day nice work torino i'm happy to hear that for you And we can make a little disc. It doesn't have to be perfectly round. Yeah, I've never heard of EIA either. So what does that stand for? Employment Assistance Insurance. Sweet. And then Samo should be coming back here momentarily. What a great way to make the time go by. We just call it EI. We just call it employment insurance, but it might not be the same thing. Okay, I'm just gonna bring over the plastic wrap now, and then we'll wrap all of these up nice and tight. Actually, Samo, can you come and help me just so I don't have to wash my hands? Yeah. You can be my wrap puller man. Before this gets too hot. It's getting hot, hot, hot. Annie, you go mail that package. We'll be here still. Down and left. Yeah, it's provincial. Ah, yeah, never dealt with that one, so wouldn't know. But hey, getting stuff back. Nothing wrong with that. Ought to be doing something, right? You're really pulling a lot of stuff. He's the wrapping man. It almost looks like the head of sauerkraut <laughs> in the wrap that you cut up. Yeah, right? 
only been paying into this system for like ever. The audacity. Boom. Okay, so those will go into the fridge until tomorrow. Now I'm gonna wash up again. And that was a very large batch of pie dough. Like, that would make three full pies. If we were doing full size ones. Top and bottom. at the shoe crew peeking at the shoe crew hello hello did you say hi to speed while he came in nice how are they feeling All right. what do you think then All right. another 30 minutes so the sausages are already seared off and that's literally all we have to do the last bit is simmer the sausages until they're cooked through. Just says cook for an hour, add the sausages, arrange them so they're partially submerged in the cooking liquid. Cover and cook for 30 minutes. Right. Okay. What would you like to do while we're waiting? Did we learn something? Okay, well, this is your cook with Sammy stream. <laughs> I don't know. I always schedule my stream so there's stuff to do. I did my part. Would you like to learn about a future dish that we want to make? Do we want to talk about what we're cooking tomorrow since we're doing brisket? Would you like to clean your brisket right now? Nope. No. Okay. Okay, oh, while it's waiting. heating up. Okay, well, I gotta go bring this to the fridge, so I'll okay. be back. You want me to grab anything from the fridge? No, okay. ERB. Hello, golden rat. What should I draw? A bumblebee. Torino, not even gonna read that. <laughs> Mary's laughing. Samo just has to have a dance party, I guess. Next 30 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> 
He brings me out Lego to build. I don't think I'm going to start building succulents if I'm not going to finish them. Apple Avocado, how are you? Mary's laughing at Samo. It's okay, we'll figure it out, guys. We'll figure it out. I'm doing all right. You got questions. You often do, I will say this. <laughs> That's like me. Be out driving, I'll just turn to Samo. Damn, I got questions. It'll be like, oh gosh, but what? He's just not a broadcaster. That's all we got. There's a creepy guy who came in at your retail work, said he wanted to just look around and talk to you while waiting for his pizza next door. How should y'all handle the situation? If you're feeling weird, then it's obviously weird. Looking at what other customers are doing, talking about the pizza next door while he waited. Should you get a sign that says no loitering? Like you're not scared, but just annoyed. Just be like, I'm sorry, sir. I have some things on my list that I have to do for my job today. I can't currently give you all of my attention right now. Just like really pull the professional side of it and then they can't really say nothing about it, right? Hi, Farby. Welcome in. Strangest thing I've eaten, jellyfish. You've eaten jellyfish? Yeah. Where? Uh, back in Mexico. How was it prepared? I don't know, back in hey, can you be like a bit more descriptive in how it was prepared? Was it raw, cooked? It was jellyfish in a package that was flavored. You ate it. It was flavored? Yeah. Peanut butter jellyfish sandwich. Weirdest thing I've ever eaten, Mary? Probably a bee larva. <laughs> Probably a bee larva. That was in Vancouver when we had bees at the brewery. Did some interesting things with that one. It's not the best. Yeah, vicariously, just say, I'm sorry, no soliciting, please. It's like, yo, if you want companionship and a friend, not really the place to go while people are working. Does it have to be intentionally eaten? Probably not, Palooza. Oh, it was that one. I don't know if it was this one, but it was like... This. It was prepared like that. You uh, accidentally ate a stink bug? Ooh. It probably tastes way worse than a jelly bean, jelly bean stink bug. Okay, well, yeah, that sounds a bit creepy. Like, if they don't follow what you ask, you could always get someone else involved. That's disgusting, Palooza. I can't even imagine how strong that, like, scent gland is inside of them. Yeah, literally washed your mouth out with the kitchen sink. Dawn. Dawn and the grease was still not gone. Ugh. <laughs> Yucks. So we are cooking the brisket tomorrow then. We are not doing what you were talking about. And then tomorrow chat, doing some of my favorite sides. Apple coleslaw, jalapeno cheddar cornbread. What's the weird gland they call brains? Gross texture, nasty. I think it's just called a gland. There's a bunch of different glands in animals yeah nasty cooking girl the sweetbreads are like a actually not so bad gland that we can eat but there is a lot of glands that you definitely want to like 
cook out or sorry cut out of the animal before you cook it because you will taste it don't ask me what the taste is i've just been told this luckily i've not had to deal with it firsthand yeah the sweetbreads nah everyone's like it's chicken nuggets <laughs> yeah sweetbreads just sounds awful good joke palooza thanks for the annie command yeah, sweetbreads, not the worst thing. I'd I'd probably choose those over liver. That's just me though. Not so bad. Oh, you can hand me the bowl. We're done with that. The mixing bowl from the pastry. All done. And yeah, this is our Lego that we will be building coming up. I didn't schedule it for this month. Uh, I think space, we've never cooked it yet. And we've had... We did a suckling pig, so we have had the cheeks. Yes, that is true, like Samo said. Yeah, not just cooked pig cheeks on their own. Uh, beef cheeks are quite popular during like the winter time. They're really good to braise. Yeah, just pig cheeks on their own or pork cheeks? Not. And yeah, aren't these cute, Pluser? I think Sam said the way that we build them is like you kind of just build each succulent separately. So that'll be a really fun one. There's what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different little pots. Add some more greenery into our life. Egg cheeks are great cooking grill. I do still have to message the ranch that we met last week and talk to them about our collab coming up. And yes, halibut cheeks are money, Mary. If you can get those, that's like straight up protein. So good. Yeah, you braise the pig cheeks as well. That's right, cooking girl. You used to raise pigs. And yeah, halibut cheeks. Yes, Kate, they are delicious, but they are also expensive. This is true. Okay, I'm going to go find some sort of medication for my nose. Really bugging me today. It was better yesterday. Okay. I'll just mute the whole time.
We're good. Emma's doing dishes. 16 minutes. Yeah, the half pig, I mean, initially, it's an investment. I'll do the dishes for you. Got that for you. Initially, it seems like a big investment off the bat. But then if you break it down into all the cuts and the price you would pay from the store, it's not that bad, Mary. Just the only hard part as well about half a pig is trying to find somewhere to put all of that at one time. Usually it's not cheaper to buy than the store even to raise. Okay, that's good to know, cooking girl. I mean, if what I have read recently about farms and stuff is true, then for sure it's not going to be cheaper than the store. Farmers, like small farmers, make barely any money back. yeah we met a ranch at the farmer's market last weekend when we were streaming and they have all of the things even bison which i'm very intrigued by i've not really got to work with bison a ton in my life mary's empty in the freezer You broke even raising raising the pigs, but you knew what was going into them and being raised ethically and then also feeding people good stuff, right? I'm sure they were very appreciative. That will go in the freezer cake. Yeah, like these are some things that you can do while you're waiting for the chucrut to cook like do pick a pick a spot in your kitchen to just quickly pick over and do a little reorganization or quickly reload your dishes while you're waiting but usually this is not just the time to just go and sit down and then these are the dishes that also help keep us healthy. They take longer to make. They're giving us exercise. Okay, that's why I'm just putting them over there. Well, we'll play one dish nice yeah. though. And yeah, the dish doesn't even get like any garnish. Doesn't even get any chopped parsley on top. Yeah, the mustards are over here. We got creamy Dijon mustard, and we got a green Dijon mustard. I like the mustard with the sausages for sure. They'll be good. Whoa! That's so interesting. Interesting fact. Pigs can get worms, so they used a toxic dewormer in the 90s 
found out you could use actual charcoal or coal from the wood stove and the piggies loved it just crunched on us so cute hi clem how are you yeah i learned a little bit about pigs and raising them at the last restaurant i worked in because the owners so he was a chef and then she the wife ran the front of house they also raised pigs before they opened a restaurant so yeah, it was interesting to learn about like the scraps from the kitchen that we could give them, like no onions and stuff like that. And yeah, nice cooking girl. When the animals are brought into slaughter, the butcher looks at the offal from the animal and that's how they can tell how healthy they were. Love that. How's your day, Clem? Yeah, we are cooking with Samo. I made a little bit of pie crust just recently and now we're just hanging out while we're finishing up here. It's been a really chill day. You're lucky to have big farms around you with fruit and veggies you'd pick up in the truck and then give to the piggies. Yeah. You've been really, really tired all day, Clem. Not sure why. Well, I've been battling something all week, whether it's allergies or just a small cold, but I did take a, a COVID test and it definitely wasn't that. So I was happy about that one. But yeah, just uh, just our daily reminder to take care of our one body. That's our temple. Don't get anything else. She's full of seeds. Are you being a seed dog? Annie is back. Welcome back, Annie. We're almost done. She's really being a suck today, hey? She's hanging, doing dishes with Auntie. That's the one. How's the food? Is Dust back? Dust back. Hi, Dust. Hi, hi, friend. How was it? And the week? And also you pumped for F1 race again? Gotta see what cooking girl is saying. They're baling hay in East Washington. Have you for the first time in a long time got allergies and a crappy feeling? Took two COVID tests negative. Yeah. What are you giving me, wine? Samuel's getting me on the wine chat. The movie was freaking epic. Hey, we'll wait to download it, I suppose. And yeah, race time. Where are they again? Austria. Yeah. How fitting that we're making the Crout Garni. <laughs> How is the wine? Sam went to the store and picked this on his own. That's good. Drinkable. I wouldn't mind that. Six and a half minutes. Mm. I think it's just theaters cooking, girl. Six and a half minutes. Yeah, we have a very hot dog. Oh, don't. You were good where you were before, girl. Uh, 
I'm cleaning up. Yep. My nose just won't stop running. Ask me how annoying it is. How annoying is it? Really annoying. <laughs> Hello, I would like to put in an order for a new nose. I'm okay with the same shape and everything. Yeah. Just one new nose, please. Thank you. I will pay for shipping as well. <laughs> Okay, I'm back, Chad. I had to blow my nose. The struggle is real today. Almost done the dishes. Not even that bad today. For what? The food is? The struggle. Jeez. Please, Samo. We're adding them. The sausages are being added. This just in. It says nestle the sausages so they are halfway submerged. Sausages have been submerged. This can't be bad. Chat. 30 minutes! Oof. That was a blue cheese container. Oofta. There is some aromatics in there. <laughs> Even the dog gets up. I was like, She's like, whoa. Whoa, Kate. All the dishes loaded up. Okay, so we should get some plates out to make one nice plate of the shoe fruit. Just like how Mary's photo showed, which is why I'm sure she linked it. We can cut some of the sausages up. Yeah, fun stuff. Tasty meats. I don't do the brisket the day before, Mary. I do the day of. I like how she says, yo, Samo. Yo, yo Samo. Yo, you don't, with the meat. You don't trim and season the brisket the day before. So he likes to trim it and season it while the egg is heating up. Is that your plate you chose to plate with? That should be okay. We... All I was going to say is we for sure need one with a rim. Because there's juices. There's juices. No, this is your stream. No, no. Two plates always. Two plates. Wait, you cook it all and I still have to plate? Yeah. Oh. Okay. I can do that. <coughs> 
Bless you. Worthy for your Instagram. You yeah. That. Photo worthy. Ooh. Bless thy Samo. Thank you. You know what they say about watching things cook? Sure you don't. You're making more coffees? Mmm. A treat coffee for later, chat. Yeah, see, Mary says it. Make it pretty, Samuel. He acts like he's never worked in a restaurant, but he worked in a restaurant longer than I ever have. He's like, nah, my wife cooks now. But you just played it for your thing. You like doing your thing. Just do your thing. <laughs> I can guess the way I cook things, you can play your own stuff. That's what happens? Yep. Where's your confidence at? I have no problem with my confidence. <laughs> my plating is different than your plating. Our styles are different. Let's be honest though. Most of the plating done by a male gender is food on the plate. Everything else after that doesn't matter. The food is on the plate. It makes it there. It's plated. It's good. <laughs> Mary wants to see you make it pretty. I'll make my own plate. Pretty though? <laughs> plate. Some people's husbands. Gonna make you cook like you're in a restaurant again. He thinks I'm hard on him now? Oh, I'll make it pretty, Mary. What do you think I am? Look at me. I'm the streamer. I know you are. <laughs> now we're coming up. Shakrut Garni. Put things in a pot and let them simmer on the stove for multiple hours. Definitely better as a winter dish because it would heat up your house at least. In the summer, not needed. It'll heat up your, <laughs> heat up your house. Mish? Well, after last night, it was 13 degrees overnight. Yeah. How's Mish doing? Welcome, welcome. Is this a preview of how working in the food truck will go? Nah, I'll have some talks before that, Amp. It should go a lot smoother. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> yeah, sign us up. Your entertainment. I know what Sam's capable of. You all might not, but I do. So that's why the bugging happens. Look at him. He knows. Mary's laughing. It's perfect. Maybe this is how it will go. So when we started working in restaurant kitchens together, there was like a very large kitchen line and you mostly work grill. Yeah. And, and stove top? No, I had a grill. Oh yeah, he were grill and like just a little two burner side of the line. And then I usually did the flat top and yeah. then the four burners. Yeah. And then, so to not get in each other's way, yeah, Dust knows where this is going. You've also worked in a restaurant, so you've probably maybe seen it too. So funny. You will literally take your Sharpie permanent marker and draw the line of your coworker to not cross. Don't go over my line. It goes straight from on top of the stainless fridge, all the way down the board, all the way down, across the floor, and over to the equipment. Don't cross the line. Don't go over. 
if you need something, ask Absolutely. for it. <laughs> but it does teach you like really good communication and how to be like a little bit more self-sufficient and organized. So yeah, dust, you know where it's going. I'll draw the line in the truck. Don't make me. Imagine adding a cooker dog in the mix. Oh yes, we still gotta watch that, Mary. We've been reading up such good, like, remarks on that. The bear on Hulu. Yeah, I really want to watch that one. Put it on the list, Samo. Okay, so we Half will need some tongs. Do you have tongs? Don't have tongs yet. Hat. Gotta be real creative. <laughs> yeah, what are we gonna do with all the metal shelves? Those are we'll cut sold. them down or sold. Those are, those are only for here. Yeah, chat, like all of this stuff that we've been commingling, some of the things won't even make it in the truck. All of our metal shelving that we made, like, our pantry and kitchen area not gonna fit everything right. will be more like permanent built in i'm gonna say think of this u shape it's true this will be space yeah this will probably be your flat top yeah so, what is he doing right now? I'm trying to understand. I'm keeping up. Walking. We're walking in from which way? Your back door. Back door of the truck, right there. Right there. Put walking. your imagination cap on. I this guy will be first. Your oven. The oven's first by the back door. I like it. Venting. Then you got slicer next. Slicer next to the oven. So basically like how this is right now. One side of the wall. Then you're gonna get your flat top next. And then we got our flat top next. Then right stove top. The flat top. You have your sink. Oh yes, and then here, so the other wall is gonna be the sink. Just, just the section. It'll be a two bay sink for you. Yep. Then you'll have another countertop here. Yeah. And you'll have all your, your prep underneath. area. I like it. So that goes up to about here. Yeah. So this is a countertop for you to work on? Yeah. Yeah, fridge and freezer. Oh, yeah! The mess! Fridge and freezer still! And we'll have that out. Outside thing for Jagger and Big Green Egg. Yeah, yeah, we still need... I should probably go tell Rando. He is almost finished his one project, though. Rando has to build us a... A barbecue... What do we call it? Platform. A barbecue platform for the big green egg and the Traeger to live on the back of the truck to use them outside, obviously. And really, Mary, so in that show, they show what I just explained of like drawing the line in the restaurant. Deep fryer? So far, not. No, no deep fryer. We can use the egg for frying on the wok. That's how you knew it was two hours. Two hours have gone by. Get started. But yeah, deep fryers are really messy and just hard to like always have around. Think about hot oil sloshing around in a truck, things like that, right? You always have to clean them out when you're driving around in the truck. So the oil has to be stored somewhere underneath on the counter, in the fridge, but somewhere not in the fryer when you're moving. Yeah. The only thing I would get is maybe a tabletop fryer and then a duck side of it. Just takes it there. Just get the tabletop fryer and then we're just going to put duck fat in it. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> or lard or something. <laughs> Cookie. Cookie's like, I heard that. I like those duck. Oh, not the line, Mary, but just how the kitchen works with fun people. It really is like a misfit crew, let's say. 
like you get people from all over the world different cultures they've experienced different things different ages like huge age gap in kitchens too you really just have to be open and willing to be in a team environment and obviously care about the food a lot yeah if you don't care about food there's no point in cooking it no you just see disasters all the time yeah I took down the Canada thing because Canada Day was over and I didn't know where to put the little lantern. He liked the Canada things. I didn't know. He never said nothing. So yeah, like all of these things in here, not all of it's going to be in the truck. Like a lot of equipment I'm still going to have to get rid of chat. Like mostly just the pots and pans, I think. Oh yeah, you're not going to have... Yeah. No more glass bowls. I think I'm just gonna hand those all down the, to all Finn. The all the things have have been for pot. That was great. Or you have a nice stack of I was just gonna use this stuff. I only have like four plates and then to pack them in the truck you just put this little smooshy stuff in between and then they don't break. Well yeah right you can do a lot of storage like you can for sure put a little bit above and then below and that's one thing we learned living in small space in Vancouver is you got to build up. A storage pod, Mary? Yeah, like maybe building a storage box for the back door or something. There's options, right? You can always add on afterwards if you feel like you don't have enough. And that's why we are just taking this long to do it. So it's done right. 15 minute mark. Let's we'll take a look at it. 15 minute mark. Take a peek. <laughs> I would say those look pretty dang good. <laughs> Holy, that is simmering. Yeah, you're. We're almost there. He says, turn it down a notch. What do you want to put the mustards in the container for dipping while you wait? What? What? You have to touch it? Chat, he has to touch the mustard and he can't. Really? He doesn't like the smell on his fingers. How do you rub the brisket down then? In the morning? You didn't shake it? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Give me a sec. <laughs> oh my god. Where's the mustard? Right here. Don't worry, I got you. Oh man, Samo. Astra's like, what are we doing? Dude, can I even get any out of here? The mustard toots chat. I'm not gonna eat a ton. And I don't really foresee Rando having a ton of this version of mustard. Is he just messing with us? Absolutely not, Mary. 
No, I really You might think he is. But this is the straight fact of the matter. Yeah, you might almost hope that he was messing with you. But he is not. This is serious Samo. <laughs> You're finally home, Weasel. Welcome, welcome back. You made it. Mish says, fajitas! Get the fajitas, chat. Okay, pretty sad looking mustard scenario here, but I'm not gonna pour a mass amount if we're not gonna use it. We got a little bit of the creamy Dijon and a little bit of the grainy one. That's the both worlds. I think we'll just put that over there. Get the what now? Fajitas. You could have made a dessert in this time. We should have made cookies or something. He's laughing. Like it's not possible. Shaking his head even. Who are you shaking your head at? You? <laughs> Your own self? <laughs> Shaking his head is at his own self. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Chad, is that even a question? <laughs> Did you need cookies? He asks his wife. What do you think the answer is? Yes? Oreos right there. There's Oreos right there. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make Samo chop up some parsley because I see there's some garnish on there actually. So I'm gonna go grab some parsley. Please get yourself ready for chopping a garnish, please. Thank you. What Cookie says? What what? This bunch of parsley is really funny. I didn't realize there was like so much stem on it yesterday. Yeah. Look at this bunch of parsley chat. Like all stem. Just a little bit of greens. That's yeah, I know. Okay. Yeah, I just peeked at the photo that Mary shared with us. And I noticed there was some parsley sprinkled on the top. So we'll chop a little bit up. And then we can finally plate. Keep this up, Sam. I'm going to redeem something else right now. Here we go. Is it a good thing or a bad thing? What, Torino? Should have answered it and said, OMG, I'm so glad you called. I didn't know what to do. Oh, I got a call from Shanghai, China. Oh, okay. Nice. 
Yeah, help! Sam will get in the phone calls. Do you want to be famous, Kate? Buy your followers and crime suds now. I'm okay. I thought I was famous. I already thought I was. Alas, I guess we're not. Barry says joking, guys. Joking. Chop, chop, chop it up. of pepper smith beautiful okay not really loving the lighting situation but we will focus assume, on this first as soon as you pull this away yeah the white balance okay so first we will peek at what is in the pot. Mary grabbed the cookbook to compare. Oh no. Boom. Sausages. Sam made this for us. Chacroot Garni. We got Bratwurst Sausage. We got German City Smokies. Uh, not that one. Just because there was raw things on it, right? Oh, you only use that for the cooked things? Yeah. Or just the seared things? Seared. Okay, so not cooked. Okay, so Bratwurst Sausage, German City Smokies, we got pork side ribs in there, St. Louis style, but they were cut from the store into spare ribs, which is actually pretty perfect for this. Everything was braised in a mixture, oh my gosh, look at those ribs, in a mixture of Pinot Grigio white wine and just a little bit of water to bring up and then for aromatics you can see the onion now peeking out with clove and bay leaf and there's also garlic and then look at all this uh black forest bacon is what you see peeking through and obviously fermented cabbage sauerkraut that's what shukrut stands for samo needs a beer with it he did buy actually some beer mary so perfect that's a Oh, actually, he can't have it because he's driving later tonight. But he said no. And so, okay, I'll also just get a slotted spoon then to bring up some of this sauerkraut. And also, I almost forgot to say the apple, a green yeah. apple in there too. I don't know if you want to cut the sausages on the bias just in half or you want to just put them on whole. Uh, once we get some stuff out of the pot, I will. Because this is 
how it looked. Not that we have to make it look like that, because it looks like someone already ate some of the plate. Yeah. Okay, chat. So I'm just going to scoop out some of the sauerkraut and the bacon first with the apples. I pile that on the plate. And then you kind of just place all of your different little meats around it. And like Mary said, make it pretty. And then traditionally, this is served family style. Where you'll have basically just this big pot. Okay. Yeah, you'll just have this big pot that is set in the middle of the table for everyone to pick from. Do you want me to scoop also Bran and Louise's? Or you're just putting them in Thank these? Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to say, like, for sure, want to keep this broth and the liquid. And he says, Krauthaufen. I had to think of how to say that with the German. Krauthaufen. What does that mean? And then also just watch as you're picking out. You don't put the citrus peel in there. A pile of kraut. Accurate. Krautofen. Doesn't even seem like there's that much. Gotta go to the other side. There we go. Bit of onion in there too. The onion should have went more sweet. Okay. Okay. So that, and then we're taking this away. I just bring it over here. Dun da da da. Yeah. Yeah, ha, ha. Pinch of parse. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to laugh. Whenever people cut, we always do the test. On the board. Oh. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, you kind of nestle everything in to the sauerkraut, right? Come back over this way. There we go. There we go. These are the views. I'm turning up the lights. bit of each sausage if you can show them like the cut piece of the rib how moist that is what juices we have the meats cookie beautiful I love it With the moutards. Mary. Chat. Look at it. It's gl a glistening pile. Of meats. And sour cabbage. And apples. Huge Mary. This is a two person plate. Okay, I'll take a quick photo. Hi, cooking girl. Doesn't it look good? 
Everyone say good job, Samo. Thank you. Beth says that's a three person play. Are you hinting that you're coming over? <laughs> Good work, Samo. I'm just going to take this one away because I can't see my beautiful sausage as much. And he's building my bro and Finn's plate. That's the ribby. Wow. That's like nicer than pulled pork. Mmm. What? Mm-hmm. There is nothing even chewy on that. I basically just like mashed the meat with my tongue. Could have gummed it, if you will. Okay. You're bringing that over, or are you staying? He's bringing it over. And then up to you guys. If you want to, like, add some broth onto the plate to eat with. Maybe you want to eat this with, like, a piece of crusty French bread. Up to you. Or, yeah, potatoes are another option. That was talked about. I'm going to try and do one more photo. Uh, no, it's okay. I'm just trying to get that meat to the star. Astra just smashed her head on the side of the slicer table because she's so excited. It's funny, my camera doesn't know which meat to focus on on the plate. That's definitely like an old school dish. That catnip. Sourdough bread tastes real good to the sauerkraut and the saucies. Yes. Would you call that the meat too movement, Annie says? <laughs> Help, Cookie. Help. He's on a roll. Hey, we got this. Bring over two forks and a smaller knife. Let's try this out. I'm very intrigued by the sausage. And to eat it with some of the kraut and the apple. This German city smoky. He's on the rolls, Mish. Mmm. That's smoky, though. It's really good, Samo. Really nice spices in the smoky. Open up, chat. Anyone here have a... Mustard seed shortage? Six pounds of German mustard brining in the fridge? No. Mmm. I think I read about it, yeah. Like Annie said, in France, though. I think it's more in Europe than here. They've gone through the roof? Yeah, that's like such a well-known brand of mustard. Crazy stuff. I guess the crop wasn't good. Mm. 
really good kraut though and like all the pork flavor in here but not too salty not too sweet yeah you're definitely gonna have to make this like all the meats taste really nice and they all kind of kept their own flavor too even though they cooked together yeah thank you i'll do a little bit of grainy mustard to try the bratwurst My little mustard dippy. Imagine this in the winter. I would make enough for like a week just to eat off of. I can imagine it heats or it reheats really well. Mmm. The bratwurst is really well done too. All right. Thank you very much, Mary for getting me to do this a lot of fun got to try something new that we both have never had yeah and this in my repertoire so i like it thanks it's for good. the inspiration hopefully we inspired other people like look at how cute this little rib is to munch like it's, it's beyond so perfect. juicy so the only things i did extra was i gave the ribs 20 more minutes to cook and I did the sausages for 15 minutes less. That's nice. It. And it's like perfect. Yeah. Oh, and I seared the sausages uh, instead of just putting them into foil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I just give them a little sear in the duck side. Might as well, right? It was good. Thank well you very done. much. Well done, dearly. Thank you. Good That's work. Really yummy. It was really good. More meat than you know what to do with. And I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> yeah meat sweats incoming momentarily all right that's good i definitely make this we can also say though like good on the butcher shop good yep. bacon quality sausages good sausage and then the ribs were from costco but those couldn't be more perfect to use for this yeah really good stuff <sighs> definitely make this here it is chat the recipe you want to bring this into your life thank you mary one last time for sharing this with us i guess we got to get going right away hey sometimes the time goes by so fast <laughs> when you're streaming it's like oh my goodness we gotta go soon okay who's on who are we raiding what did we who did we raid last way red i see kanara What else? If anyone has suggestions, let me know. Is Montana Max on? Okay, we'll go raid them then. We will turn it up. Cold foods for hot days. Okay, that's pretty perfect, honestly. I would be ready for the cold foods after crushing this plate. Okay. It's really good. And so simple. Have a beer later with it. We were planning on it, Mary. We'll take a photo of the beer and post it in Discord. And I am going to keep resting up to try and kick whatever this sinus thing I have is. Not infected, so it's not that bad. But still. Don't like feeling anything other than like close to 100 percent there they are see Ooh, crabbies rhubarb 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 ginger beer or raspberry and raspberry ginger beer that's gonna be refreshing good for digestion too okay let's go see max we will be back tomorrow sam's gonna be starting really early He's going, but yes, he will be starting really early, the brisket. And I'll be making the sides as well as butter tarts for a nice little dessert to go with it. So hope to see you guys then. I think he said around like 2 a.m. I have no idea. 
We'll let you know when we go live. Though. We'll post in Discord again. Thanks for all the awesome resubs today. Just want to shout out to... They're getting pretty long term. Absolutely insane. The longest one, 51 months today. Elvin, that's wild. And yeah, thanks guys. Just for hanging out, having to spend time with us. I know time is a hard one to come by these days. So appreciate all of you and all that you do for us. I'm going to hit this button. If you guys need us, you know where to find us. And thanks once again, Mary, for this amazing meal. Take care. See you next time. Bye.